Hey guys, Absolute here, and today is my first official video since I'm basically redoing my entire channel because I don't want to do any more weird Roblox videos. What we have here today, this is a computer that was given to me by a relative. It is a Packard Bell Multimedia from the early 90s, I suppose, early to mid 90s. Now, I don't have a monitor for this thing, and this thing can't connect to normal monitor. So, I have no idea what's on the hard drive that's inside of it, but I can tell you some stuff about it. It has some sort of CD drive. I don't know the brand. I don't know the brand of the floppy drive either, but it's a 1.44 meg. And let me get this thing opened up real quick. Okay, so as you may be able to tell, the computer isn't exactly in pristine condition. The IDE cable to the hard drive is broken. There's a little bit of surface rust, but not the com the components are still good. I turned it on and tested it earlier, so I know it's good. It uses it uses a socket three platform, which is where this comes in. <laughs> kind of figuring this stuff out through my monitor. Now this right here is a Kingston turbo chip 133 megahertz it's a 486 replacement using the 5x86 the TC 5x86 architecture this one's the 1545 revision G Ooh. now with old socket with old socketed zero insertion force processors you, you take uh, you take, come on. You take this corner. Uh, no, I have it right there first. There's a delay between what I see on the monitor and what the camera sees. So there's a little corner right here, and you wind up with this extra pin, and it has more pins than necessary. I don't remember why, but it does. And this has an ISA riser. For your ISA cards, which I will talk about soon, it has it has a uh, Caviar one three one six zero zero AT compatible intelligent drive. It is one six two four point six megabytes, so a bit so one point two gigabytes, just about. These are one of the old original Western Digital drives, so it's, it's a blue drive. So it's pretty nice. Now I have no idea what's stored on this, because as I have said earlier, I have no idea. I have no monitor for this. I can't look at it at all. I probably will need an adapter to buy a monitor, which I will have no space for, which will be very, very fun. Yeah. This appears to be... I can't tell. Oh. Matsuisha Kotobui. Never heard of that brand before. But, anyways, this is... A really interesting computer. I love it. But I'm not done quite yet because I have RAM in it that I got from a junker computer. And now it has there's only one port for IDE back here. Yes, I'm wearing a onesie. It's comfortable. I'm tired. You can't judge me. It's an AT platform computer. You can tell by the power connection. But anyways, it only has one IDE port on the board so that's where this comes in now it's probably some sort of modified sound blaster card because it ha it's some sort of sound card it has all the line in and out stuff in the joystick port but it also has and it has the CD audio port but it also has IDE it has IDE ports. It's an IDE controller. 
Now, I'm going to pause real quick to install this card. But before I do that, geez, I'm really all over the place right now. This is like my first official video. Right here, I have the second card that was installed. There, this thing has onboard VGA. Well, not VGA. It's obviously not VGA. It's something else. Because it doesn't connect to an own monitor. But this has a has a whole bunch of Viacom chips. And it's it's a it's an, it's a Y. It's an internet card. It's a it's a it's a modem card. Excuse me. So excuse my stuttering. I'm not. Ex I don't have a script for my videos. I don't do scripts. But it also has a line in it and a line out. I have no idea. It has a mic and a speaker. So it's a sound card of some sort. So I have two sound cards in this apparently. Now I'll be right back while I go ahead and install both of these cards. So I put the cards back in and this is what it looks like fully assembled. I'm going to be putting a spare IDE cable I have to replace this broken one. Uh, the power switch is sort of a weird situation because this button, except, look, look down here. It's just an extension, kind of, I guess. Uh, anyways, before I end the video, there are some quirks of the front case that I have to show you. Now, you don't ever see this in modern computers. There is a diagram of all the chips, jumpers, and what all the jumpers and stuff do. And then, on the bezel, it says Packer Bell wants media. Uh, but, look, it has it on both sides. There's a slide thing that hides the screws to the front case. It's crazy. That's a piece of engineering you won't see nowadays. So, anyways, that concludes today's video and my first official video. This has been Absolute. Have a good one. Peace.